Hi, I'm Scott Tsai. In the 1970s, about 10 million wells were installed throughout Bangladesh to reduce the amount of death resulting from people drinking uh, bacteria-contaminated surface water. But 20 years later, scientists found that up to 50% of those wells contain arsenic concentrations above the toxic limit. As a result, uh, between 35 to 77 million people in Bangladesh today uh, drink arsenic-contaminated water are, and are at in increased risks of skin cancer and skin lesions. One of the key challenges is the frequent monitoring of the wells. The World Health Organization has a defined toxic level for arsenic that's 10 micrograms per liter. Our goal is to develop a safe, simple to use, and accurate technique that detects such low concentrations of arsenic. In the first step of our technique, the user takes a sample of water from the well and puts in magnetic rust particles that bind naturally to the arsenic nanoparticles. Then he or she concentrates the magnetic arsenic cluster with a permanent magnet. In step two, the user resuspends the concentrated arsenic solution in a small volume of water and places a drop of the solution in a microfluidic device. In step three, the suspension of magnetic arsenic particles flows through the microfluidic device and is deflected to a side reservoir by an embedded magnet. We will design the reservoir in such a way that if it is completely filled, it indicates an arsenic concentration above the toxic limit. In the final step, uh, we will design a mobile phone application that will allow the user to take a picture of the reservoir and determine whether or not it is completely filled. We have recently developed mathematical models verified by experiments that predict the trajectory of the magnetic objects inside microfluidic channels. We will be collaborating with a physician, Dr. Uzul Sikter, in rural Bangladesh. As we develop our technology, we will send him sample devices for him to do field tests in village wells. We hope that our technology will help the rural communities in Bangladesh to monitor their wells and improve their health.